enjoyed a lot of good times together. Nothing really unusual about Bob and Chuck, just a couple of guys in the midst of the normal process of becoming adults. Certainly nothing to foreshadow the tragic events in which they were to find themselves, unless it was another group of young people from school. Frank and his group. They too had an interest. Lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD acid 25. Take your pick. It's equally dangerous under any name. Like most acid heads, Frank had a compulsion to turn others on. Maybe unconsciously, he felt less guilty about his weakness if he could get others to do as he did. There's a much better way to fly than with toy planes. He tried to be persuasive, but there was something weird about the way he acted. It was an old approach, taunts, dares, ridicule. If you don't turn on, you don't belong. You gotta turn on, tune in, and drop out. Experience the mind-expanding powers of acid. It's psychedelic, baby. That's what it's all about. Bob was not impressed. He didn't know much about LSD, but what he had heard he didn't like. Acid seemed like a whole lot more trouble than it was worth. Sure, taunted Frank. Exactly what the establishment wants you to believe, and you just eat it up. Bob wasn't convinced, but Chuck was not quite so unaffected. Although he tried to appear nonchalant, the adventure in it appealed to him. What if it really does give you a greater insight to yourself? At least we can try the stuff, Chuck argued. What harm can that do? Bob was adamant. It would just be a stupid thing to do. As the days went by, Bob grew increasingly concerned. He was learning the actual facts about LSD and the serious effects and consequences of taking it under non-medical, unsupervised conditions. It was a clear picture to which innumerable magazine and newspaper articles gave witness. Frightening accounts of self-inflicted injuries, mental breakdowns, violence, suicide, even murder. Chuck was also learning new things. Quick, easy ways to pay for his quick, easy pleasures. And he'd finally persuaded his girlfriend, Susan, to go on a beautiful trip with him. To merge their inner beings in a world of wonder and delight to gain new mind-expanded insight to themselves and each other.
Chuck, the acid trip was now a familiar route. So he decided to sit this one out to watch over Susan. But Susan was not quite turning on as he had planned. bargained for a freak out. Susan's car was downstairs and he decided to take her home. about LSD, Chuck, honest. There is just no future in being an acid head. You and I have been friends for a long time, and I don't want to try to tell you how to live your life, but like it or not, we are adults now, and we have the power to make decisions that will affect our entire lives. If we know it, you will be seriously considering marriage. How do you think Susan would feel about the prospect of having deformed children? As for myself, I have just started to live, and I don't want to look back in a few years and have to say, was I ever a stupid kid? Maybe the world is all fouled up, but we sure don't have to do our bit to make it worse. The facts of the matter suggest caution and a careful counting of the cost. Self Incorporated was supported by a consortium of 35 educational agencies. This program was produced by NVETA, Northern Virginia Educational Telecommunications, under the supervision of AIT, Agency for Instructional Television.